I'm here to talk to you all about ghosts that still walk. And that's not something that I believe happens. It's just the title of a movie that I'm going to be exploring a wonderful example of film d'art. A very strange and meandering plot that almost feels like a series of short stories that were strung together um, that have nothing to do with each other. The main character keeps changing. The stakes keep changing. Uh, the plot keeps changing. It's um, sometimes a horror movie and sometimes just a strange, fascinating uh, walk through an abstract uh, fever dream. I don't know else, how else to put it. But anyway, it's very disconnected, but in an extremely enjoyable way because it provides, um, it attains that level of gestalt that I really love about what I call filmed art. And I'm just going to get started on a scene. I'm not going to give you any context to this. I just want you to watch this scene because it's so fantastic and has almost nothing to do with the rest of the movie. It is beautiful. So here we go. I'm going to get us in gear on Ghosts That Still Walk. The first Winnebago scene. The second, there's a second Winnebago scene. Actually has a little bit more to do with, I don't know the title, Ghosts That Still Walk. I, I think... It's still a stretch, but we're just going to watch this piece of art that just sets, it, it's, it's just an atmosphere that is created. So let's do this. Let's kick it. Here we go. I want to make sure the volume is all set. Ghosts That Still Walk, 1977. Taking our little home along with us. As you can see, the cinematography is unbelievable. We have a moving oh, vehicle. Dad, is it all right to light this oven while we're driving? It's very Good. strangely lit. lit. You saw a silhouette before. Now you're seeing. I'm going to start dinner. Are you hungry yet? A set. Go for a salad. Movie or oh, TV so set. Well, this guy looks like Gerald Ford, who was a president back then. Potatoes. Oh, it'll be a couple hours, yeah. But I can fix the salad as soon as the roast is in the oven. And this lady looks kind of like an actress who was in Beetlejuice like 30 years later, 20 years later. This dialogue is just precious, but not too important. I want you to listen more to the tones of their voices. Very abstract. Look at this, a piece of America right here, the open road. A Winnebago driving one way, a pickup truck driving the other. We never see that. Here Alex, is what's wrong? a relax. piece of the movie that takes relax. place in another... Tell it takes place after the events of no. the Winnebago, but that's really not important. Just look at these images. Now it switches back to the Winnebago. Beautiful. And she's cooking inside this TV set. Well, I guess it's supposed to be inside the... Winnebago. I'm convinced that this movie was shot for television. I may be wrong. If it was shot for movies, it was definitely done on 16 millimeter. Love that key shot where it just seems to be magically moving. And those are old car Chrysler car keys. That is, uh, I think they call it the Pentagon, the Chrysler Pentagon on that key. We call it a pentangle. Something I satanic about it, right? That is slow down a little. Whoever checked out at the next service station. We need gas anyway. Shoot. Well, we need sure. Get it checked out. Get this major problem checked out at the next service station. Not important, though. It That's not even going to be an issue. I love these key shots. Isn't this fantastic? Yes, the next service station. We'll just keep driving like this until we get there. It's just and look at that shot. No lights inside the Winnebago. 
it's just a silhouette of the driver and shooting out the windshield at the road and at the desert, more keys. We love those keys. Look at this. Incredible. Has a mind of its own. Very stark. It reminds me of an Edwin Hopper, uh, I'm sorry, Edward Hopper painting if he painted the insides of Winnebago's looking out at desert roads. I think Hopper would have painted something like this. Look beautiful, majestic. And we are on our way to getting this problem looked at. And the keys, we still, the main characters have not noticed the keys, but we have. So it's keeping the audience one step ahead. And don't you love it when the audience keeps you one step ahead of the characters? It can be frustrating at first, but if you're looking at it through the lens of a film de art, it's just a thing of beauty. Loving those loafers that uh, in the bell-bottom jeans, very indicative of the times. Jerry Ford driving the country into a ditch. That is my take on this mainly that I believe the director was going for the metaphor of the country as Winnebago. Jerry Ford, the president who had pardoned Nixon, setting forth the domino effect of presidents not being able to be indicted ever again. Uh, and just this horrible road. Look, this, the, the road of democracy is so smooth, yet we have this threatening uh, desert this wasteland staring at us. And now he realizes the keys are messed up. And could it be that Satan is in charge since that Chrysler Pentangle key is the one that's in the ignition? Did he put the wrong key in? And there we go. Keep in mind that this scene has really nothing to do with the rest of the movie. It is fantastic. The keys may be the link to the rest of the movie now that I think of it. But uh, I can't really connect them uh, to anything concrete in the movie, is what I'm trying to say. This looks like the same Winnebago, but might not be the same Winnebago. It probably is. I can't imagine. They had the budget for more than one Winnebago on this movie. Oh, and there's that beautiful shot of Jerry Ford's silhouette. I think he's sporting a man bun. Man buns were not popular back in the 70s. I think you could probably get uh, punished severely uh, for being a man and wearing a man bun. She's fine wearing a man bun, but he could not. Uh, Toshiro Mifune could wear a man bun in the 70s in his films with Kurosawa. But unless you're a samurai, man buns were verboten. Look at this, just this, this Winnebago driving. It's just magnificent. You can't see enough of it. I'm assuming that is a, an e-brake. We love that. Here comes plowing through. They're going to get to that service station, I'm sure, to see what this problem is. I'm so glad he put off not stopping entirely and driving to the next service station instead. And she is down. Now, see, maybe what this is, Jerry Ford, he's driven the country into this uncertain, uh, this undemocratic desert where politicians can no longer be held accountable. And meanwhile, we have the geriatric class in the back, the, you know, the greatest generation in the back of that Winnebago. Was it the greatest generation? No, these are these are the Depression era age people. So this these are the Depression era people. So finally, Satan's key is online. Dad. But, oh, Dad. Yes, oh, more of Dad. this What's sort of isolated, now? these shots, just uh, yeah. meaningless dialogue, really. Um, all she's doing is reminiscing yeah. about this time in the Winnebago when a lot of things happened that she could not explain. Uh, there she is, the helpless geriatric, thrown asunder Are you all right? from the lack of democracy. Jerry Ford trying his best, but they are stuck now. The country is stuck in this very undemocratic, un-American wasteland. Where the sun, it's worse than where the sun don't shine. It's where the sun blisters. It's the opposite. 
He's trying to console I her. I know. And he says oh. he knows, but we all know. Come on. He doesn't. <laughs> yes. That's my girl. Be nice and quiet. That's my girl. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep in this Winnebago that's I'll check stranded. Over and find out the problem. In a fascist, communist, nationalist oh, wasteland, God. whatever it's I'll supposed to be. Could be any of those or all of them I'm combined. So it is beautiful. And I think that's where we're going to stop because we have had too much art for our eyeballs to comprehend. And I want you to just meditate on that. Meditate on the whole experience, the entire uh, sequence running through that road, that what started out as a great American road. We had the the pickup truck passing by probably belonged to a farmer, a staple of American life, something reassuring, something that gives us confidence and certainty. And then we are at the hands of Jerry Ford, who, as president, takes to Winnebago of the United States of America and drives it into that wasteland of uncertainty. Uh, however you want to paint this, it is up to you. It is art, and you are bringing more to this because it is allowing you to bring the most you possibly can simply by being what it is. A prime example of film to art. Thank you very much.